In this tutorial, we will make our fabric item edible, which fills up half a hunger and potentially gives the player the poison effect. We can also cook the fabric in the furnace to get charcoal, as well as use fabric as a fuel source to cook items. Open up your development environment. If you don't have one yet, you can learn how to make one by clicking the I icon or link in the description. Now, you're going to need an item that we will make edible. If you don't know how to make an item, check out the tutorial I made on that by clicking the I icon or link in the description. To make an item edible, all we have to do is change our item settings. After the group method call dot food, this method takes a food component, add new food component dot builder. Now we must decide how many hunger bars we want to fill up. Every one is half of a hunger bar, so two would be a full one and three would be one and a half. Fabric isn't very nutritious, so I'll do a one. Now we must decide on the saturation of our item. Saturation is how long a person can go without food after eating your item. Call the dot saturation modifier method and send it afloat. I'll do six, which gives it the same saturation as cooked potatoes, which isn't very likely, but whatever. If you want to compare your item to other foods in Minecraft, check out the Minecraft wiki page linked below. There are a couple of other methods I like to mention that involve food. First, the dot snack method means that the item will be eaten quickly. Second, the dot meats method means it can be fed to dogs. Third, the dot always edible means you can eat it even if you are full, like a golden apple. The last method to mention is the dot status effect. Inside here, we can make a new status effect instance. We can then choose the effect by calling status effects dot and choosing one of the built in effects. The last argument to send the status instance is how long this effect will last in ticks. Every 20 ticks is one second. So I'll write 20 times 3, so it's clear that this effect lasts for 3 seconds. There are some other optional parameters that you can send, but I'm not going to go over them in this tutorial. Now, the status effect method also takes a chance variable, which is a float. The chance were represented in a way where 1 is 100% and 0 is 0%. I'll choose 0.5f, so that eating fabric only gives you poison half the time. Finally, make sure to call the dot build method to finish up the food component. Now if we run the game and try to eat our food, we will receive half a bar of hunger and 5 saturation points, as well as poison half of the time for 3 seconds. We now have a food item, but fabric is very flammable, and so we should make it a fuel to cook other items, as well as be cooked to become charcoal. Making a fuel source is super easy. Inside our oninitialize method, call fuelregistry.instance.add, then send it an instance of your item, and then an int representing how long the fuel will cook for in ticks. I'll use 67 ticks so the fabric item is equal to carpet. If you want to compare your item to other fuels, then click the link in the description to go to the Minecraft wiki. Now, running the game, we can use fabric to cook our delicious steak. The last thing we want to do is be able to cook fabric into charcoal. This can be easily done by using a recipe maker. I have linked this one in the description. Click on the furnace tab. Now drag any item to the top slot of your furnace. Even if this item is not your modded one, we will change that shortly. Next, choose another item and place it as the output. Scrolling down, you can choose how much XP is received from smelting this item. I'll leave it at 0.1. But you can compare your items to others by checking out the smelting page on the Minecraft wiki. Link below. Lastly, choose how many ticks this item will take to cook. I'll put 100 because fabric burns pretty fast. Copy the code at the bottom of the website that it has created for you. Back in your IDE, open up data, mod ID, recipes. Then create a JSON file with your item's name. Paste what you copied. Make sure to change the ingredient and or the result to your modded item by writing mod ID colon item name. Then run the game. Success! Using fabric to cook our fabric, we can see everything is now working. If you found this tutorial helpful, mine up that subscribe button and chime with the bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.